Hi, welcome to StickItToTheCollegeMan.com. My name is Cole Berry. Today we have a slide for you on three crucial parts to getting the right financial aid. The college, fun the college funding process can be nerve-wracking for parents and students. The sheer amount of research and planning that goes into any college plan may be overwhelming for any first-timer. Here's some, tips to getting, here's some tips to getting the right amount of financial aid. One, the FAFSA, the free application for student aid. Every student should be filling out the FAFSA every year they are in school. It's extremely important and can be quite complicated. Errors can put your entire plan at risk. Here are some common errors people make filling out the FAFSA. Tax errors. Often people confuse their taxes due with their total income tax. They sound similar, but there are subtle differences. It's important to talk with tax professionals for questions regarding taxes. Asset mistakes. Many experts share misconceptions about what assets, assets are includable and non-includable. Includable assets are calculated into your EFC, and they will, and they will increase the amount of money you will have to pay. Non-includable assets are not calculated into your EFC, and they include assets such as annuities, cash value from life insurance policies, and retirement plans. <clears throat> also, you should not use home equity as an asset for the FAFSA. Section 529 saving plans must be reported, and some schools may require you to fill out the CSS profile form, which has less lenient asset classifications. And some other mistakes people make filling out the FAFSA. Many families wait until April when they have filed their taxes to fill out the FAFSA. This is a huge mistake. You should fill out the FAFSA as soon as possible. You can go back later and update it after you do your taxes. If your parents are separated or divorced, make sure you only put one of the parents' information on the form. Otherwise, they will raise your EFC. Okay, now, number two, understanding the aid process. Here's the process. Filling out the FAFSA, getting your student aid report, sending copies of the student aid report to schools, then you receive your award package and negotiate if necessary, and compare your packages and notify the schools. Three, plan competently. Start early, preferably at birth, but no later than the student's junior year of high school. Save competently. Understand your options from bonds to 529 plans to life insurance policies and annuities. Find out what's right for you. Research schools and select the perfect match. Getting a degree in four years is the single best way to save money on college. Qualified counselors are available for help. If you have children and know that you want them to attend college, it's never too early to begin your research. The whole process can last years and cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. Competent planning can be the difference between retiring on time or paying for your daughter's wedding. Consult the professional at stickittothecollegeman.com. Thank you very much. This is Cole Berry. Take care.